no plans, no plans at all Evil man's always transcending Fight her like sheep, swallow everything Always simple tins or pretending We got no plans This is your moment of clarity from LeeCamp.net a lot continues to be made of New York City's stop and frisk program in which police officers can stop anyone they want and search them. They overwhelmingly do this to people of color. And what people need to understand on this hot button issue is that stereotyping and racism are the bedrock of this country. We were founded on slavery and it worked flawlessly for hundreds of years without a single complaint. And as your textbooks will tell you, the only reason slavery ended at all is because white people were sick and tired of black people taking all the good jobs. Furthermore, let's not forget that out of all the stopping and frisking that's gone on in New York City, an illegal weapon has often been recovered. I define often as 0.02% of the time. So if a few hundred citizens have to give up their constitutional protections in order to defend this country's founding racism, I say that's a small price to pay. And right-wingers will often tell you it doesn't matter how many rights we give away because you have nothing to worry about if you haven't done anything wrong, like being black or Arab or Latino. Just don't do those things and then you won't get locked away. Also, don't do anything morally right but uncomfortably disagreeable like Bradley Manning did. He felt a moral obligation to let the world know we were gunning down unarmed civilians. So he hurt the good old USA's confidence. And for that, we had no choice but to lock him in solitary confinement for the rest of his life. Because just like a pedophile, he could strike again and release more truth into the world when we least expect it. It's similar to the reason Liberty Plaza in New York City had metal barricades around it. I can't overemphasize the need to cordon off free speech and imprison truth. They'll spread like a cancer if we're not careful. And before you know it, you'll have a free and open society, or as the Nazis used to call it, kindergarten. I, I might have that last part wrong. That's your moment of clarity from LeeCamp.net. Check out my appearance on MSNBC's Dylan Radigan show where we talked all about the things the mainstream media won't talk about. You can do that by clicking here. Plans, no plans at all. Evil man's always transcending. Fight her like sheep, swallow everything. Always simple tins or pretend.